Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate a great new feature introduced in Excel 2010. Live preview for paste and paste special. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to select my data set over here and on the home tab of the ribbon in Excel 2010 I'm going to choose copy. So notice the little running marquee around the area that I just copied. I'm going to select a single cell where I want to paste what I just copied. Now if I come back here to the Home tab, I could either click the Paste command or I could use the keyboard shortcut Control v to paste a copy of what's on the clipboard or I could take advantage of the Paste drop-down menu. New in Excel 2010, we have Live Preview and a gallery of the options. So over here, before I commit to pasting, I can see what it will look like if I choose to paste. Or what if I choose this option, which maybe I didn't even realize existed, to paste without the border. So in this case, most of the formatting and all of the values and formulas are copied, but the borders underneath the regions, the borders above and below the total, would not be copied. I can see that from the live preview in the gallery. Or what if I were to choose this option to paste the values only? In this case, no formatting and no formulas. So I would see uh, the, the constant values and down in row 17, I would have the return of the current formulas rather than the actual formulas kept in there. And some other options, I could copy the formatting only. In other words, I would preset the formatting for that new range over there without copying any values. And I can also open up the paste special dialog box. All right, before I go any further, let me switch over here to another tab. Before we can take advantage of paste or paste special, we must first place something on the clipboard. So notice that paste is grayed out unless I go through and copy or cut. So I'll use Control C keyboard shortcut to place on the clipboard the contents of that cell. Now, notice that in Excel 2003, 2003 and earlier, if I wanted to take advantage of these Pay Special options, I would go to the Edit menu and choose Pay Special, and then select from the options in this dialog box. In Excel 2007, what was pioneered, what was introduced, were the menu drop-down selections for the most popular of the Pay Special. So Pay Special formulas became a menu selection from the Paste drop-down. It wasn't necessary to go into the dialog box, paste the value. So you see the most popular options from the Pay Special dialog box were made as menu selections in Excel 2007. And in addition, we could open up the dialog box. We can still open up the dialog box in Excel 2010, and now, in addition to the menu selections, we get the gallery and the live preview. So there's a little historical perspective. All right, now let's come back and see how we can take advantage of some of these items. So I'm going to type in five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and what I want to do is I want to remove the formatting from over here. So I'm going to clear the formats and now I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard and in addition to choosing from the gallery on the um, home tab of the ribbon, I can also, when I make my selection over here and use the right mouse click shortcut, I also get the gallery over here. So now I can see what this will look like if I paste the values only, or if I paste uh, transpose, or if I paste the formatting only. So in this case, let's choose the formatting only. So you see the original values that I had in place remain, but the formatting has been changed. Now let's take advantage of another one of the options. So once again, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make this selection. I'm going to copy it. I'll use the right mouse click and say copy. And I want to come over here. This time I'll come back here to the paste menu down here. And what I want to paste is I want to paste special a link. So now when I paste special a link, watch what happens if I change one of the values. For example, make this 99. Now, because there's the link, you see what I took advantage of the paste special link means that that cell will be uh, updated. Let's use Control Z to undo that. Now, let's 
remove uh, these and I'll show you what what pasting as a picture and pasting as a picture with a link looks like so in this case what I want to do is delete these columns in this case I'm going to come back here and I'm going to make my selection I'm going to say copy and over here I'm going to use the drop down and I want to come down here to paste as a picture or paste as a picture with a link so now what happens is that over here I get a picture which I can move which I can resize and to which I can apply different picture tools the picture tools were introduced in Excel 2007 and in, in Excel 2010 so here now I have a picture of that data this is especially helpful if I want to take my core information from Excel and put it into another program, for example, Word. Now, in this case, what we want to make sure that we do to take advantage of this is open up the Office clipboard. So we want to come down here and click that Dialog Launcher. You see how I click that Dialog Launcher over here in the clipboard group? And now that makes available the Office clipboard where my last 24 items remain in memory. So now if I come over here to Word and if I open up the clipboard uh, dialog box you see what I just copied over here is available. And I can also take advantage of the same gallery options over here. So in this case I want to paste it as a picture. So now when I click paste this a picture over here in Word I have the picture which I can redraw or which I can format in whatever fashion that pleases me. Now I'm going to come back in another lesson and I'm going to show you how we can take advantage of some more options with uh, Paste and Paste Special in Excel 2010. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.